Hi, kitty cats. When talking about my gender affirming surgery here in Thailand with my sister, she remarked how glad she was that I had this opportunity. And at first I thought, you know, this has not been a bed of roses. It's not like one hurdle, it's an entire steeplechase to get here. I've waited decades, I've worked long and hard for this. But I thought about her comment more closely after I had, you know, my initial temper tantrum. And I want to start by expressing my gratitude to a world capable of developing the technology that allowed me to receive my gender-affirming care. And then I want to extend my gratitude to Thailand, a country that has not limited my access to gender-affirming surgery the way other countries have. And then I must extend my gratitude to an industry that makes global travel a reality so that I could get to Thailand at all to take advantage of the benefits this country offers. And then I have to think about all the money I spent on travel, lodging, food, transportation, the surgery itself, recovery after. I spent tens of thousands of dollars from my savings, something most Americans cannot do. And that's the first place I actually come in. So yeah, there's a very long chain of fortunate events that led me to get this opportunity and speak about it afterward. I acknowledge all the debts I've paid along the way, and how many of my transgender sisters, brothers, and siblings will never have the same opportunity I did. Thank you, world of 2024. I know I've made many disparaging comments about you, and I recognize you're not all bad. I did get here, and I did get what will improve my life for the rest of my life. I am so grateful to have been able to receive and benefit from the opportunities offered to me by the world of 2024. Without all the opportunities, my life would be far worse, and the direct influence on my family would be immeasurable. And I can say that with absolute certainty, having seen my life from both sides. So, talk soon. Bye!